you check in with the front guys? I yeah. didn't. No. Usually Probably they have that for you walking around. Yeah. And who are you with? Oh, uh, myself. Yeah, you can't be out here. You gotta be. Up, you gotta go up front and check in. You can't walk around here. Oh, why is that? Then I'll have you step over onto the sidewalk, please. What happens if I don't? You will be arrested for a trespass sale. <laughs> well, I'm not going to have Officer Smith okay. sign a form. Well, honestly, I can't make you do it, but I, I mean, I've got the recording of it. Like, like I, I said, from, work. from my understanding, it's... I, I, it's no, you, you have to go now. You have to check in. You can't be on school district property without a pass. Can't be on, can't be on school property without a pass? Correct. We have to know who you are. How am I being inappropriate? Well, I can enumerate a few ways. One, you're not actually following the statutes of Washington State. I don't understand that. It's private property. Okay, I, I need to talk. I need to talk to another supervisor. This is just the, the problem is I understand this is a hubris moment. I get it. You guys feel like this is a you know just a cockfight right now. Hey everyone, I am free. It's December 8th, 2023. I'm in the city of Auburn, King County, Washington State, heading to the Auburn School District Motor Pool, their uh, maintenance facility for all their buses and whatnot. I got reports, tips and leads that is, from locals that there are some environmental hazards that they've tried to bring to the attention of the school district. Allegedly, they're significant and they're just not taking it seriously. So uh, I'm heading there to see if there's any merit to it. While I have everyone's attention here, please, if you wouldn't mind, I'd be greatly appreciative if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, subscribing, liking, sharing, and make sure you hit that all notifications button so that you guys get my stories right when they release comment below you can follow me on x at i am free auditing and if you want to help keep my feet on the street you can do so by looking for the links in the description to venmo and cash app so there you go i appreciate the help it really means a lot it uh goes directly to helping me you know keep on the street gas and all that kind of stuff gets expensive especially nowadays we all know it All right, there we go. merit to this it's the school district transportation center How's it going? How are you? Not too bad. Just glad it's not pouring, right? Oh my God, yes, I'm done with that. Yeah, me too. How's it going? Come on. Not much, another fine day. Just glad it's not raining, right? Yep. Man, that was miserable. Hey, I got a question for you. Have you guys heard of any sort of a hazmat spill of a, a significant sized one here? Have we ever? Uh, not ever. I, recently, within the last month. No. Doesn't sound familiar at all? No. All right, 
cool. Why? What do you got going on? Uh, just working on something. Just got to get some footage, photo, and video. Yeah, and the only thing we have once in a while, the, the engines dribble a little bit, and they'll drive through it, and there'll be Yeah, a that's spot. definitely not a uh, no, <laughs> considerable size. No, we don't. We haven't had <laughs> Who anything you with? big. Uh, I really can't go into that right now, but okay. I'm just working on a story. Okay. Yeah, so, but yeah, I no, appreciate that. Nothing. So nothing like a major oil spill or nope. anything like Usually that. Usually they have Did you check in with the front guys? I yeah. didn't. No. Usually Probably they have that for you walking around. Yeah, just tell them. Just, just let them know. Let them know you're doing. Otherwise, we can't. We have you walking around. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'll they head. kind of frown upon that. Yeah, I'll head up there when I'm done. But I appreciate it though. Thanks. Yeah. All Happy right, guys. Day. Yeah. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Who are you? I'm name's Steve. And who are you with? Oh, myself. Yeah, you can't be out here. You gotta be. Up, you gotta go up front and check in. You can't walk around here. Oh, why is that? Because all visitors have to check in up front. Big signs everywhere. I didn't see a single sign that said. Yeah, that. they're out in front of the building. Oh, yeah, I didn't enter that way. Yeah, we can't. We can't just have people walking around. Why not? Because all kinds of stuff gets happened. Because all kinds of stuff gets happened. All kinds of things happen? Yeah, you have to check in with front. Visitors have to check in with front at all school buildings. But yeah, like I said, I mean... This is school property. and checked it out, yeah. You have to go up front through the office and get a visitor's pass. Um, yeah, I'll probably swing by when I'm done. Get no, some... you, you have to go now. You have to check in. You can't be on school district property without a pass. Can't be on, can't be on school property without a pass? Correct. We have to know who you are. Why is that? Children's safety involved. Oh, are there children involved? Uh, yeah, people come in with buses all the time with kids on board, yep. <laughs> I, I guarantee I'm not going to have any issue with the I under, kids. I understand we have to, you have to be checked in. I, I just want to make sure, you said people come in here driving buses with kids on them all the time into the transportation yep. depot? Yep, they come in, we transfer kids from one bus to another quite often here. Wow, okay, that's good to know. All right, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I appreciate what you're saying. Uh, All you gotta do is go check in. Yeah, I mean, I'll just wrap up here and then I'll head up front, so. All right. All right, thanks. Hey, I got a quick question for you while you're here. Have you, uh, I talked to a couple of your uh, employees in the number three garage. Have you heard of any large hazardous material spills, specifically oil in the last 30 days? Of where? It was basically in this, what what I'm being told is somewhere in this parking lot, this transportation depot. I don't know. Doesn't sound familiar? No. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's it. I'm just going to keep poking around for. It's a pretty considerable size lot. I was unaware that it's private. Who owns it? School district. Oh, this is a private school district. Yep. Gotcha. So it's not publicly funded at all. Um, 
Yep. Hold on a minute. I'm a bit confused here. This is a private school district, but it's publicly funded? No, it's not a private school district. Oh, this is a private school district. Yep, private property owned by the school district. Huh. Who owns the school district? Uh, Auburn School District. Who's that? Auburn School District. Who owns the Auburn School District? Uh, Auburn. The city of Auburn? No. So the city of Auburn does not own the Auburn School District? No. Who owns the Auburn School District? Uh, you just said Auburn. Auburn owns. School District. So the Auburn School District owns the Auburn School District. So it's uh, completely... Well, the people of Auburn. Okay. The people of Auburn? Hold on a minute. It feels like we're getting down to, to the brass tacks here. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that probably squares it away. Hey. Hi there. You're just being audio video recorded just to let you know. Sure. Do you work here? I don't really answer questions. Okay. Then I'll have you step over onto the sidewalk, please. And what happens if I don't? You will be arrested for a trespass day, of course. So I'm being trespassed? Yes. Who's trespassing you? Well, the school, for one, and then since this is private property. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. So, you are you the one that's trespassing me? No. Who's trespassing? I'm, I'm confused, officer. I work for the school district. Okay. Along, uh, so, I'm giving you the word. So, you're Hopefully. trespassing me? Yes. Okay. Well, let's walk, and then I need to get that 115 form. What's 115? Uh, if you look in uh, Title 9A, Section 52, or Chapter 52, the Trespass Statute. Oh, yeah. Okay, then give me all your information. Uh, actually, doesn't require information. Okay. So, I have you on camera. I have your photo. Okay. All right. If you come back, you'll be arrested. Okay. I do need the, the Section 115 form, the Declaration Form Under Penalty of Perjury. Well, I'm and we're since walking. Since you're signing. I don't, I don't even have it on me. It's in my car, and then we're walking this way. Yeah, but you are going to give that to me, right? And you're going to sign it because you're the one trespassing me? Sure. Yeah. Hey, I cannot complain about that. I appreciate you doing the right thing in that regard. Oh, look at that. We, we may have done. we may have a civil disagreement, and that's fine. But uh, I appreciate you. Uh, why at are least you here taping out of curiosity? Well, I was telling uh, the guy back there here working on a story about a alleged um, oil spill, rather large one, hazmat spill. So, Can you grab a trespass form? Well, I I need the trespass form, but I also need the declaration form. So it's two separate ones. No. It's all on the same paperwork for us. Oh, okay. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. If you can stay right here, I'll be right back with that form. Okay? Yeah, you bet. You bet. Wow, look at that. That's actually pretty handy. They got the uh, the declaration form all on the same page as the no trespass warning. That's actually efficient and cool. I appreciate that they did that. Uh, obviously, uh, we've got a bit of a problem here, but we'll uh, go square that away here at the Auburn Police Department here in a minute. Oh, hey, officer, I got a question for you when you're done with that. Or now, either way. Yeah, what's the question? Sorry, I can't hear you with the... Yeah, well, what's the question? Uh, I was wanting to see if I can, unless you are and you're just hiding it because you're wearing a coat. Uh, I'm looking to see if I can get a sergeant, corporal, lieutenant, whatever. Whatever, whoever's available to manager, whatever. What is it about so I can tell him? Uh, well, 
while I appreciate there's a misunderstanding on that officer's part over there, I'm actually wanting to square it away before it escalates into something that it shouldn't. Yeah, I mean that in a civil sense, not a. <laughs> okay. What's <laughs> a, a What's the misunderstanding? I guess. Uh, well, a this this is definitely not private property in any way. School district property. Yeah, it's not private property though. The school district it's, property and it's there's public stuff, property. There's school district stuff, and it's posted that you cannot enter there without checking at the main office. There. Yes. Not here. If you go down along the line, there's I, you know I, I observed because I try to make sure I'm on the right side of everything here. Okay. There's no no unauthorized personnel signs, no no trespassing signs, no anything. Like that. Now obviously there's vehicle directional signs, you know, like mm -hmm. hey this is exit only or buses only down there, that kind of stuff. But when you're contacted by the staff here and they say you have to leave and you refuse, that's when the st the problem starts. Uh, well, no, it'd be like for example. If you and I were to stand here both on the sidewalk simultaneously, I said, uh, what's your name? Gothels. Gothels? Gothels. Gothels? Yeah. Okay. I was like, hey, Gothels, you can't be here. You got to skedaddle, man. Uh, I'm just, it's my sidewalk. I'm making a decree here. Uh, mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. I mean, we sidewalk both, city property. This is school district property. It's different. Which is owned by the city, which is owned by the people. It's owned by the district, not the city. Well, that is all part and parcel. It's a municipal corporation. So. All right, there you go. Just means that if you come back to any of those properties, those are all the Auburn School District properties that you could be arrested. Yeah, I got that. Uh, quick question though. What you said this has does not have it. So I, I'm just politely asking for the additional form. Oh, hold on. Yeah. The, the, that's the other form. that's going to be it. All so right. you're going to refuse to sign the perjury statement? Is no, I, I signed that. This isn't under penalty of perjury. There's in, in 9A52 section 115, section 80, as you know, is the is the actual trespass section where it delineates between mm -hmm. outer property and inner property. When you go down a few more sections to section 115, there's actually a form there that the legislature mandated that anybody, whether it's you or, which is why, honestly, what I'm asking you is actually to help you. If you get the guy in there to sign that, it actually takes the liability away from the police department and I, you personally? I, I'm not going to get into Harris. You're not allowed to be on this property. Okay, well, I still okay. need a corporal, sergeant, whoever. All right, I you're more than welcome to call them down. So you're... I request one. You request one? Why do you got to be like that, officer? I mean, I'm just asking for a corporal or sergeant. Aren't no, you guys... one for you. Aren't you guys public? Yeah. But he's... He's being actually reasonable and appropriate. You're being inappropriate. I'm, and I'm not. You're, I'm sorry. You're actually being very unreasonable and very inappropriate. How am I being inappropriate? Well, I can enumerate a few ways. One, you're not actually following the statutes of Washington State. You're actually putting yourself in legal jeopardy, and you're not actually putting... That's the not being inappropriate, though. Breaking, I haven't been rude. Breaking I haven't the law is not inappropriate? What is? Wow, that's pretty shocking to hear, Smith. I mean, seriously, that's, that's, I would say uh, not yeah, the height of it, but it's, it's inappropriate, right? It's midline inappropriate, oh, okay? okay? Yeah, you, me the you know, you, you know you're supposed to do that declaration form. You know that. And if you're not aware of it, then all you got to do is pull out your little red RCW book that most police officers carry with themselves. Are you a police officer out of curiosity? No, okay. not at all. No, I'm saying... Are you a lawyer? What's that? Are you a lawyer? I'm just I'm just curious about who you are. I, I don't answer those kinds of questions. Okay. So my, my the point that I'm getting at here is, is all you got to do. Heck, you don't even need the handy dandy little red book you guys used to carry unless you still have it. You can so just how do you simply, know how much about police officers? If what's that? If you're not a police officer, how much you how do you know so much about policing? Well, I just you know got a background of certain knowledge and whatnot that just leads me to be aware of these things. Is somebody coming? But you can still I'm also just get your phone out and Google 9852-115. The legislature literally has it in there. It's a 10 checkbox declaration form. At the bottom, whoever the trespasser is, is instructed to leave. That's the no trespasser thing. And then whoever is saying, I don't want X to be here, right? I want that person to be gone. The reason that they fill out an initial next to each one of those 10 checkboxes and sign at the bottom under penalty of perjury is so that you guys don't actually get in trouble. That's the God's honest truth. It's it's basically to say, hey, the police officers are going to trust whoever, right? They're making a declaration, which is why they signed that form, that says, under penalty of perjury, I'm telling you, police officers, Smith and 
Oh, uh, that golfers. form has worked in court and people have been arrested and charged under that form. What's that? People have been charged under that form before. Our prosecutor so, approved that form. Yeah. Well, just... <laughs> <laughs> just just because the prosecutor does something wrong doesn't mean you guys should. I mean, literally, here, here's here's the height of hubris for me. Here's the height of hubris. Literally, you guys could, while we're waiting for a corporal, sergeant, whoever, right? You guys could literally pull out your phone. This is your moment to shine and be like, dang it, Steve, you're wrong. You are so wrong, Steve. Naughty. Right? You could do that and then totally just rub it in my face and be like, aha! I know more about it than you. All you gotta do is Google it up and it'd be right there. We've been using that form for years and with no issues. Sure, and, and so basically all forms that all police agencies, departments use since time immemorial are always right. There's never an error on it. There's never a misstep in process or procedure. They haven't found one yet. If that's the case, then you guys are a rare, rare jewel. And that's a that's a good thing. So up in court for years on that one so all right but look i mean you guys got it on your body cameras i got it on my body camera and this i mean yeah, you got a lot of cameras on you i'm sorry what's that you got a lot of cameras well yeah they all serve different purposes all right i did my due diligence honestly tried to be reasonable and polite and nice and warn you that this is I, a misstep we so. appreciate you moving to the sidewalk thank you well i mean i'm not going to go to jail over it i mean that's that's okay. pretty reasonable. We can handle this civilly through different processes. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep, our sergeant's on the way. He'll be here in a little bit. You want to check with him? Is that right? Woo, I'm... Boy, that's a... Uh, yikes. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. It's real unfortunate. So just out of question, uh, yeah. Officer Gothels. Yeah. It is Gothels, not Gothels, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what, just dying to scratch this itch here, okay. Gothels. Why, why would you, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. If you look it up and you prove me wrong from Section 115 of the Trespass Statute, I think I got 10 bucks. I'll bet you 10 bucks right now. I'll bet you 10 bucks I'm right. And you could, after work then, go have most of a tasty beer because of inflation. I don't even know if you could get one for 10 bucks nowadays. You could have most of a tasty beer just simply by saying, man, that dude on the sidewalk got wrecked today. I wrecked him with my knowledge of the trespassing statute. This is your moment to shine, Officer Gothels. This is the moment. When the school district calls us, so we got somebody <laughs> that's unauthorized on our property. We want them removed. We come, we fill out yeah. that form, and that's what we do. Well. Try to do it as politely as possible. And So you would, you would say there's no let me step back. Would you argue you've done your due diligence right now? Yeah. You have? Yeah. You feel pretty confident about that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I mean, I'll, I'll wait for an off. Oops. Okay. The irony is I was trying to tell Officer Smith is uh, that declaration form is actually meant to protect police departments more than anything because you could have someone that is incorrect right and in this case especially when there's a public entity a municipal corporation and they have legal counsel the right step would be for them to call counsel put their attorney on the line and say this is what this guy is saying right now if the attorney says that guy's a fool he doesn't know anything that he's talking about I don't know what magical weird stuff he's making up here but well, that's not right because I'm the counsel for the district now all of a sudden that person at the school district let's say the guy that was out here earlier checks all ten of those check boxes signs under penalty of perjury at the bottom and guess what Gothels you and Smith walk away you gallivant away with confidence no they've committed perjury it's their butt on the line, not yours. Unfortunately, Officer Smith 
put this here and she's refusing to do what the statute requires in section 115. Do you think it's reasonable to show up on uh, school district property, your face covered, carrying multiple cameras, scouting out, who knows what? Absolutely, and here's why I say that. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make this some um, waxing poetic thing where I'm going too far with this, mm -hmm. but if you hear me out, I think you'll probably make a lot more sense. I do because the very first of our liberties, a right to a free press allows, should there be something that's potentially being covered up, the free press to go to places they're lawfully allowed to be. Yeah. And you know, obviously the Supreme Court of our nation as well as our state have affirmed in multiple cases, time, place, manner restriction rulings that say there are times where people can be in places just like this right here. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously if it were, let's say 6 p.m., that time, place, manner restriction would not be appropriate. But right now, it's absolutely appropriate, and there's a plethora of case law to affirm that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you shepherdize it through LexisNexis, you can find it pretty dang quick. Be like a 30-second search. So, ah, oh, there we go. Is that the there sergeant or corporal? Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, I, I appreciate the dialogue, if nothing else. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Good, how you doing, sir? All right, we'll be an audio will be recorded. How can yeah, I help you? Bet. Yeah, I'm just asking. I'm really just trying to make a full-throated request that this be done correctly. I'm not saying that to impugn you. I just think there's a misunderstanding here, and that's all I'm trying to clear up. So I appreciate that the uh, employee of the district has asked that it be trespassed. I asked Officer Smith uh, a few times if she would please fill out the declarant form that's required in the trespass statute. If you go down to the near the bottom of the statute, the section 115, there's a declaration form that's required to be signed by whoever the person is trespassing, whether that's Officer Smith or the school district people or whatever. There's 10 boxes they're supposed to check and initially each one of those and sign at the bottom. And actually what that is supposed to do is I was telling Officer Goffles and Officer Smith, it, it, it is actually meant to protect the police department. That's the sheriff I remember. So that way, if you show up and someone's like, hey, uh, Sergeant Schultz, absolutely this guy cannot be here. I swear under penalty of, uh, under penalty of perjury on this declaration form, that is true. Then it alleviates any liability from the police department that they need to pass. And if then I go to appeal that later, you guys aren't on the hook because you were taking the word if you ever signed that perjury statement. And that's all I'm asking. If you, if you would do me a, a really big favor, just look that up, either in that Red RCW book you guys either carry, or just Google it, 9852115. You'll see it right there. Absolutely promise you it's, it's a fact that that's supposed to be done. Okay. I missed the part. Is, did you come here so you would be trespassed? No, no, no. Actually, okay. I came here. I was telling the, uh, the guy that came out earlier, and I forget his name now, but I came here because I had tips and leads but there was a large oil spill. Okay, so something there. else, and then you have been, you have been, I, I'm getting caught up at the end. Sure, so you that's fine, yeah. You have been issued a trespass, is that there? No trespass warning, yeah. Okay. I have that. Okay. that. The only other thing I'm asking for is the declaration form, which preferably for you guys would just be signed by whatever that guy's name was with the beard that came out. Okay. He's the one that wants me trespassing. As soon as he signs it, chief, I'm out of here. Then what I can do is I can have no trespass warning, the declaration form that's required by statute. I go and I do my civil remedy. I petition my government to seek redress of grievances, and I'm, I can solve the problem that way. Okay, but by it, our city, that's the only the only form we're required to give you, and you've been notified in person by law enforcement. And that's so what you're you, going to. I'm not refusing to sign anything. I, I mean, that, that's not what we're, we're saying. By our city, that's all we're going to have to give you. So the city is taking a position. I just want to make sure I capture this. The city is taking a position that you don't have to follow that that required section within the trespass statute. Is that accurate? No. Okay, then why would that form not be filled out? Because that's adequate for our legal standards. Well, the problem it's is... It's not up for debate. You do, you do need to leave, and you've left their property, so you're on public walk, right way, right? Okay, I, I need to talk I need to talk to another supervisor. This is just, the, the problem is, I understand, this is a hubris moment, I get it, you guys feel like this is a... You know, just a cockfight right now. It's like I got to no. show that I'm bigger and stronger. And you're I going, have oh, not. You're I not have not done that. that. Oh, I'm no. not in disguise. <laughs> I showed up, and I'm showing you my face. Sure. Right. Yeah. 
So I don't know what else is you, you like from no the law enforcement. You have no reason to understand at this point why I haven't I am, asked. Not, I haven't asked. Yeah, exactly. Because you guys don't blow the police or law enforcement, correct? Right. So right. I just want to paint both sides of the picture, not just one side. Well, right. Painting both sides of the picture is basically saying, no. Nope. Let's get the complete, you're, you're interpreting correct a lot process of things. and procedure done. Okay. So can, can I get a supervisor? I am a supervisor. So you're not going to get another supervisor? No, sir. All right, I'll go down. I mean, it's honestly, it's unfortunate. I truly can see the hubris to putting that. I think that's okay. inappropriate. I, think it's I appreciate rude. you complying with the trespass. Well, I mean, it, I'm not going to go to jail over it. I'm just here working on I a story. I appreciate that. Yeah, but what I would appreciate is if you guys could actually follow the statute. I mean, that statute is crystal clear, or that section of the statute, rather. Okay. 50, 52, 115 is really clear. Okay. It's just 10 steps. They have to sign it. I don't know why you guys are trying to assume the liability. Officer Smith's going to be taking that. No, what I explained to you is that the city has advised that's all the legal standards that all we need is to give us that form. So there may be other things that go on because we have legal advisors that work for the city, right? So that may have been approved. I mean, if that's it's not some... that the statute's not clear or that we're not following it, it's that we're only giving you the form, okay? There's another step that's required, though, when you... Okay, when well, you then are... I'll, I will speak to a, our legal counsel to make sure that we're following that if that's necessary. But right now, that's not what we're going to do. Just because... So you're not even willing to look it up because of hubris? Oh, I'll look it up. Great. Uh, how about this? I'll wait here. I'm on a public sidewalk. I'll wait here. Look it up. And hey, you know what? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll admit it. I mean, I have no... no what I've explained to you is that's all the city has advised we need to give you for a trespass. Wow. And see, and this, the problem here is because of your unwillingness to look into this further, maybe even call city council like right here on the spot, what's happening is you're choosing intentionally, even though I'm telling you what the statute or the second is, choosing to do violating is not my argue. liberties I'm with not, intent. No, I'm not. It's frankly malicious at this point. Uh, well, what I'm choosing to do is not argue with you about it. Well, I wouldn't either. I mean, I guarantee you Correct. my pedigree probably exceeds... <laughs> Yours. Okay. You know, and I don't know. Maybe your attorney's young. Maybe they graduated from Seattle University. Okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna put an end to this. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank well, you look. for complying with the trespass. Yeah, Have you guys day. are pretty inappropriate. So Smith, we're gonna get this squared away. Okay. Have a good day. It's okay. gonna be a harsh lesson for you. Right. You put Have yourself in civil jeopardy. Nice Take care. Well, there you go, guys. We're gonna have to go down and get this squared away. City of Auburn's police department to dispute a no trespass warning and uh, get that rescinded. And if they don't, get evidence of them either signing or refusing to sign the statute declarant form. Sergeant out here. I've been uh, I'm for what? I'm looking to file a complaint, get a no trespass warning rescinded, and or get a 115 section document signed a declarant form by either a police officer or the transportation hub manager. I will see if someone's available. Great, thanks. Hello, are you Hi. Steve? I am. I'm Sergeant Brian Anderson, Auburn Police Department, so you know our interaction is being audio and video recorded on my body camera. That's what? I'm sorry, I'm, your name is Sergeant what? Brian Anderson. Brian Anderson. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you want to stand my, outside? It's my nice out there. I'm good. Okay, I'm good here. Um, there's nobody else in here, so it's not crowded or anything. Okay. Fair enough. Um, my understanding is you want to make a complaint. What's what's going on? That's that's secondary to the primary thing I'm trying to achieve. My number one thing I'd like to achieve today is the removal, the rescission uh, of a no trespass warning that was just given to me by Officer Smith. Okay. Uh, at the Auburn School District Transportation Hub. Okay. Why? So, why do I want to rescind it? Yeah. Uh, because there's no lawful basis for it. And um, if it m is maintained, I'm just politely requesting that uh, the declarant form okay. be completed. And it obviously doesn't have to be completed by you guys. If you guys, yeah, there you go. Uh, honestly, the whole point of that form is actually to protect you guys. Um, it's, it's to put the onus of responsibility upon um, whoever it is that's asking for the trespass to occur. That way, the police don't actually, you know, have any liability. Well, that's a public building, publicly owned building by the city. So the city of Auburn does not own the Auburn School District. No. You're not allowed to be on this property. You understand that, right? 
I don't understand that. It's private property. Oh, this is a private school district. Yep. Yeah, it's a public building. So we are the declarant. Yeah, we are. We are. We are an agent of that anyway. Yeah. So we do have forms that. So I, I explained that our other trespass program. So when you see a uh, like a commercial business that has trespass form, trespass signs, they actually have very specific signage that we provide to them. Yeah. Um, and they have a letter, and the trespass letter is allowing for officers to be an authorized agent of the business mm -hmm. when there's nobody available, like middle of the night and stuff like that. So sure. we can enforce trespassing laws without having to have someone, an accuser, actually be there to sign any sort of forms. Sure, yeah. So a lot of times at the bottom what you'll, on a lot of our forms, what you'll see for officers, especially graves, is, or weekends and stuff like that too, letter on file. Mm -hmm. Because we have a letter from a declarant saying, yes, if the police, a lot of times people will call and say, hey, there's people on the property from our video, can you go move them? Which is sure what brought them there. Which, my understanding is what brought people to the bus barn. Mm -hmm. So the district and the district officer, school resource officers who were directly for the district were the ones that requested a sure. Sure. That's, that's yours, you printed it. Um, so there's, at the bottom there should be, I, I don't, do you have a copy of the trespass? Yeah. Is that the that the issue that you have on this particular item? Yeah, so, I mean, obviously you don't have to use the print oh, from, from the legislature, but like this one says right here, which is the, the point of legislature, is to actually ensure that my liberties are as well maintained. Understood. So while that obviously explains, hey, you can't go back to this place, this is the address, all that, yes. this is basically saying, hey, if by trespassing me, there is something in fact wrong about that, you've sworn, as the legislature requires, because this is right off the state legislature's website, that whoever's to be removed and whoever the declarant is to remove said person okay. is swearing under penalty of perjury that it is in fact unlawful for that person to be there. If it turns out that it is lawful for that person to be there, now they've that committed a crime I, I, and I well, that's the whole point of this, perjury. They've committed perjury because they signed to it. But you have to, sorry, open the door to different legal questions. The person that signed it, were they aware that you were not allowed to be there, meaning it would be knowingly perjuring as opposed to a mistake of fact, which caused the problem. See what I mean? Great. Like I said, different legal issue. I have never actually seen this particular form. Okay. This is a school district form. Okay. This is not what our standard trespass that my officers most of the time use mm -hmm. looks like or even says on it. So if you would prefer that one with the address on it, Okay, uh, they're saying per school district admin. Um, here's the big thing. This number right here, mm -hmm. that's the incident number for the, the call today. Okay. The public record from the call today will be in this. Okay. And that will include reporting people's names from the district that called. Mm -hmm. um, it was my understanding in talking with Sergeant Schultz, uh, who was down there earlier. Yeah. The, the, it wasn't necessarily that you were there, it was the behind the fenced area, which is a, a restricted area, whatever, I don't know, I wasn't there, mm -hmm. but I guess that was their main issue with it. Which, controlled areas, public space, yes, but there are control, there's reasonableness to controlled areas, and because there's equipment and buses left with keys in them, or equipment left with keys in them because of the way they're stored during the day and all that, uh, workplace safety, all this, uh, all sorts of stuff which private businesses have for themselves as well, so. Well, that's a public building, publicly owned building by the city, workplace safety, all this, all sorts of stuff which private businesses have for themselves as well. So, understandable. Um, so, the other half of that is without providing your name, it's a written warning. It's not really, I would argue that that's not a very enforceable trespass admonishment to start with. Because I don't know who you are. Well, you, my, I've, you've identified yourself now, but on that form, they said, guy. Sure. Right. Well, uh, if you show up in the parking lot, I don't know how they would enforce that. But. Well, I mean, you guys seem like a smart lot. I have a very identifiable voice. Most people would be able to recognize my voice. Plus, I always go in this kind of clothing and attire. The point that I'm getting yep. at is I just, 
What I'm trying to do is make sure as much as Sergeant Schultz, officers Goffles and Smith, mm -hmm. we're trying to protect the liberties of the school district. Okay. I want to have my liberties as protected as well. And Understood. The whole, the whole point of that, it's fine that we have a civil disagreement. The, the, there's a method to solve that. And the prescription for that is that the legislature mandates, based on the, the header of this declarant form, in section 115 of the trespass statute. Right. They, were, they mandate that this be signed by whoever is trespassed. So if you read that, that beginning part of that way. No, I understand that whoever, it's essentially stating that you, you have to have a named accuser. Uh, named, Un, under essentially yes. common law. Like I can't, I mean, I, you can't, there needs to be a victim. Correct. Essentially. And they're the victim. Right. But like the school district is not an entity in which that can be a victim. Yeah, that's not like, true. Yeah. The 14th Amendment makes that clear. There's right, but what, even what you're saying is here, under state statute, there says there no, must be a declarant to represent the business. The owner of the premises or his or her authorized agent. Correct. But we are the declarant. Yeah, we that's are, right. We are, we are an agent of that anyway. The guy who came out said to me on recording, he's the authorized agent for the school district. Literally said it on recording. So the issue there is that becomes, Gothels or no, the guy with the beard over at the place. Now my point is, is if in lieu of uh, Smith, Officer Smith, if in lieu of Officer Smith, is it them? Yeah, I got it on recording. I, mean, I know, but it's not signed. It, I, I mean, I could probably remedy remedy this, Steve, with like our actual trespass admonishment from the city of Auburn because it has a lot more information. Sure. I mean, honestly, the, the trespass warning is sort of irrelevant to me because it's just warning. Well, you me. said you wanted me to you wanted me to remedy this, which yeah, I, I can by letting the school district know that this trespass form is insufficient based on a lack of information here. And like, I'd be glad to show you our trespass form that sure, has that's like fine. it literally says name of business or agent and their date of birth and a phone number which gets redacted in the form that i give you redacts sure. their information yeah, yeah, yeah. the form i give them redacts your information and the only person that has all of the information is here because it's our record that we're we're creating and it yeah. goes into our system if you if somebody asks for that thing your sensitive information gets redacted out as well, well as all public record stuff. The sensitive information no, that's the, I was just explaining how oh, our form how our triplicate form works. Gotcha. It's okay. not just a okay. triplicate form, there's actually redacted out blocks. Yeah. But in the bottom Oh there you go. There's Jessica Smith saying. So in essence, Jessica Smith being a direct employee of the Auburn Police Department and the school district acts as the agent. He's the original complainant when she shows up when she signs the form, she is now the declarant. Yeah, so if she wants to sign the declaration form uh, on behalf of the school district, that's fine. But I mean, that's that's literally required. She has to check the 10 boxes saying, yes, I've read these, I understand this. She signs it at the bottom under penalty of perjury, and then I'm out of here, I'm good. Then I can, I can pursue civil remedies to resolve this because now she's completed the process. Where this jams me up is that without that, there's a trespass warning and it's per Sergeant Schultz, Officer Goffles and Officer Smith. If I return, as they said on video, I will be arrested. I will go to jail. So if that's the case, okay. that's fine. All I need to do is just get the declaration form saying whoever the person is, if it's Officer Smith, the employee at the school district that is asking me to be trespassed, signs that under penalty of perjury, checks the boxes, I'm out, I go to court. And I, I'm confused with you. I'm, con I'm confused with what you're asking because that's what these forms are for. Well, except that's what this form is for. Except for that lacks these, those things right there. That's the critical stuff. Those statements are what are being attested to by the declarant. So basically say, yes, I've read this. I understand it's unlawful so for them to be there. Here's the problem with your plan though right now. If you plan on going back down there and getting arrested to challenge this. This form is now kind of moot, at least for the day, because you've had three law enforcement officers directly tell you that if you go back to that property today, you will be arrested for trespass. So, and, and so you've, been pro you've been properly admonished, at least verbally, or at least yeah, for the absolutely. day, yep, that absolutely. if you return, so these become irrelevant because we've given a lawful order. That doesn't, th what this, this is. This still becomes irrelevant because the, ar the arrest for today wouldn't be based on this. It would be based on the fact that I have a complainant from the school district. We discussed things. You said you understood. You had an issue with this, which I I understand that you have an issue with this, and there's some things that you, 
you need to reach out to the school district because you're right without this it makes this unenforceable at a later date well as but this now. is no 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 but however long this lasts that doesn't matter we've told you today to not go back correct so now so i need that because part and parcel away from this i've told i've i've essentially trespass admonished someone for a day sure for the rest of the day yeah verbally many times and then had them come back and made an arrest and had no documents about any of it. No, I get that. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is like, if you were to just go back today, these documents are, are moot in the case. The trespass would be standing on its own with the admonishment from the officers yeah, we're, in person. We're, we're passing each other right here. I'm not disputing that there is a trespass warning in effect, whether it's oral or written. What I'm saying is this form should have been done even though you can get an oral, give an oral no trespass warning, that declaration form under penalty of perjury still is required by statute. I mean, that's literally from the state legislature's website. The whole point of that form is to say, whoever it is that's doing the trespass is declaring under penalty of perjury, the person being trespassed has no lawful authority to be present at the location. What I'm saying is I have every lawful authority to be at that location. There is absolutely nothing that restricts me from being where I was. So, since I'm making that argument and now an opposing party is saying, no, you don't have lawful authority, the whole point of this is to protect my liberties just as much as it is to protect theirs and to transfer liability from an enforcement department, like a police department, to the declarant who is asking for that trespass to occur. So now, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're asking for then. I'm asking for whether it's the because school district person or Officer Smith to sign this form because it's it's a declaration form that's required. Well, she signed this form. That doesn't that form right there doesn't have those statements. Okay. She's required to attest with her signature that all of these portions right here are in fact accurate and truthful. I don't as a law enforcement officer if I'm an agent of the th th wherever it is, I do not need to sign this. It literally says in the preamble you do. No, it says the declarant does. Okay, who's the, the declarant? The declarant agrees to indemnify and hold harmless law enforcement actions or omissions yeah. made in good faith pursuant to this declaration. And who's the declarant? Be and, and, I don't know, somebody over there. So we are the declarant. Yeah, we that's are, right. We are, we are an agent of that anyway. Wh so whoever that might be. The But does it need a declaration if it is a public business? It's a, it's a publicly owned entity. It's a municipal there, it, corporation. Okay. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know is in and, and I don't know if there's a declaration form that has been signed by every mayor since there's been oh, mayors no, 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 that, that essentially cover this and says yes I give this authority do you see what I mean yeah but it's I, that's this that's is not a private area. this is not a private entity this is a it's a it's a publicly owned private whatever Correct. little and corporation but my point is is that's controlled by the city of Auburn yeah doesn't mean that they're not a declarant there is no declarant to you who do you use so we are the declarant yeah, we're, that's right. we're, we're an agent of that anyway. The person that asked you guys to come over there and, and what, and what if they move or change? It's a new declarant every time? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, here, I'll show you. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that the, where the law enforcement gets derived the authority to tell someone to leave. Yes, by the person who called you guys in the first place. It's, but it's a, well, my point is at 2 o'clock in the morning, I don't need to talk to anybody. There is no letters on file for public spaces like yeah, that. Yeah, so the issue, the issue there is you have authority at that point because of time, place, manner restrictions. No, I have, I have authority all the time. <laughs> well, if you, if on, you hear me. In, in city buildings. If you hear me out, I'll, I'll explain Sorry, why. I have, thanks. I'll explain why, like, for example, your 2 o'clock example is incongruent with the example that of okay. today with me being trespassed. So if the business is effectively open for its normal operating hours, right? Correct. You can go there, you can do a public records request, whatever you want to do. Okay. Right? If you're there and you're in places you're lawfully allowed to be and someone's making a declaration by calling the police saying, hey, uh, this guy Steve out here can't be here, I'm saying I want him to trespass. The point of this form is for that person to accept responsibility as an agent of the, of the facility, the organization department, okay. and say, hey, this person's got to go. I'm declaring under penalty of perjury that that is, in fact, lawful for you guys to remove him. Okay. Now, your example at 2 o'clock in the morning is poignant for the fact that time, place, manner restrictions 
don't allow me to be there for any reason whatsoever after 2 p.m. No, literally none. I, I see. What you're I literally saying. cannot make a reason for that to happen unless I, I guess you know if you saw us, you know, Mark the crazy guy chasing me across the street yeah, with a knife. There's always there's always there's, always there's always there's yeah, always and I hurtle over the fence and yep, you're like, well, nope. this guy's just running. And, that, and that's why we ask questions before we just sure, sure. Yeah. Anyways, so I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I guess my my question to you is. I don't. I don't understand what you want the police to do for the remedy. Well, because the the officer, yeah. who who can lawfully tell you to leave, sure, without any paperwork, no declaration. I don't need a declarant. Why does it say that it doesn't? Need I, again, this is this sounds like you you feel like there is some sort of tort that can then be done via. Oh, this absolutely has to do with the tort. Okay, so absolutely. Then, then you need to take that through the civil civil means. Well, and that's we, what we this didn't does. we didn't place you under lawful or un unlawful arrest. We never put hands on nothing. True. You that's can't be true. in this area. The business here is telling us that you got to leave for the day. If you come back, you'll be arrested. They want a form, so we here we fill out a form saying that you can't come back for this amount of time. If you have an issue with that form and how that form is set up and the, whether or not there's a declaration to it and a signed person's name to it. That sounds like a great conversation for a civil attorney to, to go after the school district. More, you are absolutely free to do that. That is sure. exactly the course in which things need to be handled. Yeah. That's kind of how our system is set up directly. It is. My officers that were there provided what we are legally required to provide. We can act on uh, people in restricted areas, come out, explain to you, hey, this is a restricted area. We don't have signs. Yep, that sounds like something that you can address. It's not on me to tell that business exactly how to do the signage. I'm not in code enforcement. Correct. But hey, they want you to leave. And I'm telling you, if you don't leave, you could be subject to arrest. Mm -hmm. And you say, okay, and then so you leave. Sweet. My authority, if that is a private business, is I have to go find a business owner that I go, if, you, if this person refuses to leave, do you want to be a victim of trespass? And then I will take them to jail. And if they say no, I'm done. So I don't need any sort of declaration from a public entity that, that the police department is not only adjacent, like literally connected to as a governmental agency. That's my point. So from our end, we're done. We are done. Well, obviously, I can't make you sign this. What I'm I saying was just, is- I, I was just trying to understand exactly what you were asking for, because I'm not gonna force Officer Smith to sign that because she doesn't have to. That has nothing to do with police work. But we are the declarant. Yeah, we are. We are. We are an agent of that. Anyway, that is a declaration form, state legislature stuff. Uh, I am going to grab you one of our trespass admonishments because our legal department actually looks at them and probably likely understands that. And there will be some conversation up the chain to the school district. If you're going to write trespass forms, they need to have the right legal verbiage on them. If that makes sense. I completely agree about the legal verbiage, uh, that and that's the whole point of declaration form. Is the, the key, the key phrase there, age or the key word, agent or agency. Yeah. You guys are Officer Smith specifically. She accepted agency. You are absolutely correct when you say we're acting on their behalf because they're a city department. Correct. Right. So the moment that Officer Smith stepped in and chose to do this. Okay. She then should have signed the declaration form. All she had to do when I told her on the spot is, hey, I literally told her, I said, remove the civil liability from you. There's no point, the whole point of the legislature, if you read the history of, of this law when, mm -hmm. when it was a bill, when they argued, when you shepherdize the arguments through LexisNexis and read what they were talking about, they said, we don't want the police to actually have responsibility for someone else's misunderstanding of this, and if they're, thereby they violate someone's civil liberties, now the police have no liability in this because why should you? You're basically going up there and saying, "Hey, uh, Mark, uh, you gotta guy go. manages the yep. manages the the school district whole, facility here. Right you got to sign this form that, because it? we're going to take your word that he's not lawfully allowed to be here." Now, when then I go and file a tort and I say, "Actually, Mark." the manager of the school district uh, maintenance facility or whatever, you were incorrect, sir. You didn't actually have lawful authority to trespass me and ouch, you committed a crime by signing this. This is why municipal corporations gotcha. don't want people signing this is because what it does is it jams up the prosecutor's backlog with a whole bunch of perjury cases. I'm, I'm 
<laughs> well, I'm not going to have Officer Smith <laughs> okay. sign a form. Well, that honestly, I can't make you do it, but I, I mean, I've got the recording of it. Like, like I, I said, from, to work. from my understanding, it's... I, I, and I well, let's be honest. It's the city attorney that's screwing up here. I, it's well, the city attorney screwing up. Well, Obviously, I, you guys well, don't want to... The city... I don't... And again, I'm not certain that the city attorney had anything to do with the writing of that trespass form. No, but he gave... He gave didn't give you guys advice that this declaration form needs to be signed. The, there is no requirement to have a no trespass warning, but there is a requirement to have a declaration Just a second. Okay. Just a second. You bet. Ooh, it's hot in here. I'm going to go out front. Okay. Man, it is really hot in there. Yikes. Well, maybe the First Amendment audit uh, YouTuber? I'm a journalist. You're a journalist? Okay. Well, if you're a YouTuber, I really appreciate what you do, man. Oh, okay. I do actually publish my stories on YouTube. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Well, well thank I, you. I watch your stuff all the time. Uh, if, who do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> the masked Avenger. <laughs> if you're one of those kind of oh, guys, gotcha. I see what you mean. Gotcha. Of stuff well, yeah. I mean, I'm a journalist, so yeah, yeah. You're welcome. I mean, yeah. that's what we do. I mean, that's what our forefathers gave us, right? That yeah. beautiful First Amendment. So. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks. You. Take care. Um. <laughs> so anyways I'll, I'll head over there okay. I, I would just like to you know make my request one more time to have sure. that rescinded obviously you don't have to do it I can't make you so. I, I, I don't have a way to rescind something that is with the district I, I, I can ask officer Smith she's gonna drop it but we are the declarant yeah we're right. we are, we are an agent of that anyway well, I guess what I'll say is, it, but see, it is unenforceable. You see my point there, though. If you can't do something on behalf of the school district with agency, how did she act with agency to do something on behalf of the school district? But we are the declarant. Yeah, we're right. we're we're an agent of that anyway. Because I can be, I can because we are armed agents of the government. That if violence were to occur, that's why they call us. They had every opportunity to trespass you on their own. It does not need to be a law enforcement officer that tells you to leave, and then oh, sure. if you refuse, physically remove you. And I think people don't understand that. At your house, you tell somebody to get off my property, and they fail to. You, you have, you do have the lawful authority to physically remove them I'm from your property, property sure. with reasonable amount of force. Like you can't go out there and beat them to death with a bat. That's unreasonable sure. for what's happening. But you absolutely have your own agency to move somebody off. The reason businesses don't is due to civil liability. They want to hand it to us because see they, you, that's what everybody does hands us and even I, I know you said it indemnifies us i i don't think i really don't think so because we're named in every lawsuit most officers uh unless it is very clear and egregious you get named and then you get dropped it's you're doing your job it is what it is sure. um I, nobody nobody here is showing up and being like i'm gonna definitely go out and violate people's rights today that's what i definitely <laughs> want to go do that is not that is not a thing okay. whether whether it be due to lack of training ignorance uh dynamic situations that have to do with human beings information being relayed that is partially accurate fully inaccurate fully accurate and misinterpreted there's all sorts of things it's a very odd job it's a it's an interesting profession i'll say that sure so uh doing the best we can i i can get a hold of officer smith and the reason i say i can't i can't physically do anything because i don't work for the school district so i don't know any of the school administrators does she? she does i can i can have uh officer so she's smith. a school resource officer. she is a she yes so the way that works is she's employed by the city of auburn she's an auburn police officer okay. that is assigned to the auburn school district and they're kind of their own entity at one point they, they did have a school police separate yeah, entity okay. commissioned through us that has been over the year uh, over the years it just it made more sense just to assign an officer the school district pays us directly so it's just gotcha. government shell games from this thing this part of this for salaries and whatnot but whatever. okay uh they work directly for the school district so they do have policies and procedures that work directly with the school district that are separate from what we would normally do mm -hmm. that's why i had this is why as a supervisor, a sergeant, I've never actually seen that trespass form, which I'm sure was a little shocking for you. The like, declaration form or the, the pink one? The, the pink one. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, I, I, I'm just, in 16 years, I, was, I wasn't I was RCW-wise knew about this declaration thing because I'm, I'm not a business owner, and a lot of times all of that information is, especially physical trespass arrest, all of that information is captured in my interview and investigation into the trespass in and of itself why is this person not allowed to be here yeah what were they doing 
how do you how, what do you do here what is your title? great question all of those things and that's part of the complaint is that i i guarantee you there is nothing absolutely zero is bereft of any markings whatsoever that right. limit me from being there so the problem is is what this looks like is intimidation bullying from a public employee to get armed individuals to show up to remove the press under threat of violence to prevent a story from occurring I because they don't want that happening. I absolutely, and that's what happened. I absolutely see your perspective there. Yeah. I, and I, I, I do not disagree. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to uh, second guess Officer Gothel Smith and Sergeant Sorry. Schultz who showed up with a complaint and, and then did what we okay. would do for show the backstory of why you're there. I, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I'm not going to say like they were definitely wrong, definitely right. I'll get a hold of Officer Smith and kind of see what's going on. She would have no way to contact you to let I, you I know. Can, I can let you know what my email address is. It's okay. really super easy. Me, I'll grab those. Uh, sure, board. you bet. And you, you said a complaint. Was there? Well, it's Sorry. just basic. It's basically what I'm arguing. Oh, okay. I, I'm arguing there was no lawful predicate for the removal. There obviously got gotcha. so there is a lawful so predicate. It's not a complaint on officers. It would be a complaint with the people at the district for no. that manager at the district. No, it's because she acted, as she said on video, she acted as their agent. So Because well, we are their agent. Yeah, they're, so, they're a governmental agency. So therefore, my issue is with her because I think there's a, a bad action that was taken on her part. I think it was really just bad conduct on her part to remove me when she had no lawful authority to do it. Because there's no predicate. It'd be, like, it'd be like going to someone in a park and saying, you can't be here. There's no difference between that parking lot that I was in and a park. None. Zero. Completely the same. Again, that I, the specifics of where you're standing, what was alleged, what was said to you, I'm I'm unsure. So this is our complaint form. If you want to do that, uh, I'll just email one to you. Um, do, you do you have the Do you have the the, site, the stuff to do it? Yeah, you know what you know what I'll do. Okay, I'll email it to you. Uh, if you got a business card, what I'll do is I'll just email you, and then you can say, yeah, I talked to Officer Smith. This is what happened. Great. Okay. That way, I've got a record of it. Sure. Uh, let right. me let me go down to my desk and actually grab business cards. Yeah, you bet. Because I don't. This is my full AP number. Two three zero zero seven six three seven four six. Oh, is that like business cards? Proceed. Is that like the CAD numbers. Yeah, that's the call number. So okay. we have incident numbers and case numbers. Criminal sure. cases get case numbers and non-criminal just response to all the calls. So the reason I give you this is uh, there will be two body cams from me when I walk down to my office. I shut my body camera off before I came back out and turned back on. Okay. Uh, so here's the incident number. My body cam is going to be under this incident number. The incident number that you have on the form that she gave you their will body have cameras. their body cameras. Oh, okay. Thanks just for so you have that. the records. Yeah, yeah thanks for explaining that. Department. I'm going to go and try to file a complaint at the city attorney's office. That's just down the road here from me so we'll go see if I can get that achieved so I'm gonna walk over there right now let's see what time it is it is 1:45. we're in the city hall we're gonna go in here and see if we can find the city attorney I am trying to get this unlawful trespass warning that was issued against me today, uh, revoked, so that the city doesn't have any sort of civil jeopardy. Okay, can I see that? Absolutely. Okay, I'll be right back. Actually, if you could do me a favor too, this goes with it. Oh, okay, just one second. That's what was supposed to be signed, but wasn't. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Um, there's nothing our office can do. Um, you're gonna have to go through the police department. They referred me down here. Because here, here, I mean, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to I'm I'm really bending over backwards to give the city an opportunity to resolve this before it goes down another path for civil remedy, because, it, I mean why go down that road if this is a simple solution? I mean I know it sounds like a oh he's threatening to sue us. I don't want to do that. No, I don't think that. I'm just saying that there's nothing our office can do to make this go away. Absolutely, actually that's not true, and the reason I'm arguing that is because. I was explaining to the sergeant, Sergeant Anderson, mm -hmm. agency issues, time, place, manner restrictions. He had absolutely no understanding what I was talking about. The attorney does. This is a training issue. If the attorney could simply explain to the police department, because that's what the city attorney does, gives him uh, legal guidance and legal advice, says, 
hey, that whole trespass warning was unlawful, then what it does is it avoids everything and says, oh, you know what? Hey, we made a mistake. We're really sorry. We'll rescind that. Well, the Auburn School District is the one who asked the Auburn police to trespass you. Yep, and that's the problem. Guess what and the... Uh, you would have to get permission from that. Now, guess what? Auburn. District. The school district didn't sign this by law. They're required. This is right off the Washington State Legislature's website. They're it, they are mandated under the law to sign this document. The reason they didn't is because they don't want to commit perjury by signing it. Okay. Again, so so is that here? I'll, I'll just I'll make the brass tacks easy. If the civil attorney, the city attorney, doesn't want to respond or try to make this uh, a positive experience, that's fine. That's the city's choice. But if you're saying on behalf of the city, as I'm recording you right now, that the city attorney is not going to do anything to help resolve this, then I will use the only option I can. I just don't think, why have the taxpayers go through that? There's zero reason to do it. Just relaying what I was told, that, that how it happens. That the Auburn School District is the one who wanted to Okay, I'm, that's fine. Look, I mean, that, if that's the way the city wants to do it, then I'll... I'll I'll handle it that way and we'll call it good. But I mean, I just, I think that's unnecessary for the city to have to go through that. Okay, well, I understand. Okay, all right, well, I'll try it everything. All right, well guys, uh, that was an attempt to try to get the city um, avoiding, you know, a bad experience. I don't see why they would go down the road of a civil suit, a tort, when they could just simply go, oh, wow, you know, the training was off, okay. You know, that happens. Uh, we're trying to affect change by actually having the correct kind of uh, training known and to have those people um, do the right thing. But if they're not going to, the only thing you can do is get an attorney uh, if you can find one. A lot of attorneys do not want to do this kind of work because it doesn't involve somebody being run over or, you know, grieve grievously injured and that's you know big payouts all that kind of stuff this kind of low-end stuff they don't like doing because it, it doesn't really pay out much